and Egyptian and you name it. I had all of them in my gallery. I said, I've had so much fun collecting these things. If I've got to go, I'm just going to take it with me. As a matter of fact, Ralph Lauren came in my house one day. He was a good collector. And he saw a, a bonnet that I had hanging on my wall. It was, had, it was a crow medicine bonnet. It had ermine skins on it and, mm. and antelope arms. And he said, I want to buy that thing. I said, I don't want to sell it. He said, you have so many of them. He said, you can't take it with you. You know what I said to him? Then I'm not going. <laughs> and, you know, I started thinking about that later. And I said, well, you know, if I got to go, why don't I just take this stuff with me? And I got the idea that I'm going to buy. I gave $25,000 for a beautiful Flemish chest that they think dates to like 1150 A.D. And, and, and the conversation with Ralph Lauren. Tell me how those two things led to this, the important part of this book. Well, it seems like all the lines crossed at the same time. In 1988, I was diagnosed, diagnosed with what everybody thought was terminal cancer. I lost a kidney. My doctors told me I had a 20% chance of living three years. And about that same time, Ralph Lauren, who had been an old client of mine and friend for many years, was in my house and looking at some things that I had. And he said, I want to buy that. And I said, Ralph, I don't want to sell it. He said, well, you can't take it with you. And I said, well, Ralph, I can't take it with you. I'm not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> and we laughed about that. But I started thinking about that afterwards, and I got sick. And, you know, if you got to go, I decided I was going to take some of it with me. That's when I decided to buy that, that beautiful treasure chest. I gave $25,000 for the treasure chest. 